I really love electronics. I like programming a lot. I'm personally more of a design person myself. Well, I like art a lot. I write. I'm a writer. Oh, I love the people. <laughs> I think the people are one of the best things of Create. There's no standard type of creator, like everyone is so different, everyone has their own top skills, everyone has a way to shine and everyone is just really, it's always fun. Like I feel like when you walk into the Smart XP or where a lot of creators are, there's always laughter and there's people doing stupid things. Creative technology attracts students who are very passionate about using technology to solve uh, societal problems. You know, their real passion, their focus when it comes down to, you know, grinding out those projects. Students are very helpful among each other. So I think it's a community of mutual help and yeah, I think that helps a lot when studying. More often than not, you're always working with things that you really enjoy working with. So if you like to work with electronics, you do that. And if someone else likes to make a 3D model of something, which it will be showcased in a website, there are people that are working on that. Create is one of the studies who has one of the most sociable community. I was even more shy and myself than I am now. And I feel now that I can just, whenever there's something, I just talk to everyone. I think because of this atmosphere, I feel more comfortable with a lot of people instead of just a tiny bunch of people. I can talk to everybody to about almost everything. Like if I walk around in the design lab, I know half of the people in the design lab. If I'm in the smart XP, I know every face there. There's usually not a lot of judgment going on. I'm never really scared that someone is gonna say something that is not nice. So I think the environment is really safe. I think that create people are very open-minded and very spontaneous as well. There are a lot of project ideas that I've heard about the past few years. Right now we have a burger tower at one of the installations. I don't know what that's about, but I think it's really cool. <laughs> Every module I feel is so different and the products that come out of it are so different as well. You, you really work with uh, other people. I've tried at the beginning of Create uh, with the, the high school mindset that you can just do everything alone and that's generally not uh, the case. And that's also like now I feel like I want to actually learn things and then other people who also just want to learn things it's much more easy to uh, uh, connect and to talk and to solve problems. What we do today is really problem solving and fast iteration and okay that's broken let's put some tape there and I think that's the essence of Create you know just making it work no matter what. Yeah when you walk in first you hear all the people just talking and just having fun mostly. Some people are seriously working but most people are working and having fun at the same time. The lights, the LEDs, the screens. Smart XP is not the beautiful, the most beautiful place in the world, but feels like home to create. You smell the, the laser cutting, the plywood. You see the 3D printing working, so that means somebody is busy. I study there like in the, on the balcony and I have a lot of meetings on the ground floor in the breaks. And then the second floor is where our student association room is. It's really a place where people come to relax, come to have fun conversations, to just see what's happening. Yeah, I do a lot of the creative activities that they do, so like painting Bob Ross things, or we made a terrarium with plants. I mostly just go there for the snacks because they're way cheaper than everywhere else that I, you can access. There's one thing that I don't understand, it's, and it's especially so on Create, is Wednesday they serve fries in the cantina, and it's like everyone has fries on Wednesday in the Smart XP, and it just smells of fries. I don't get it, like it's just fries. I think we all agree that the Smart XP is very important for the program as a whole. You can see it as a lab. Sometimes it's just the place to dance or it's the place where you connect with the study association. It's also very much, of course, the place where Alfred lives. Our wizard. I think we should all hail Alfred. <laughs> so we have a very dedicated technician, Alfred. If you will study at Creative Technology, you probably meet him in the first or the second week already. He's a very important part of our study program because he facilitates so much. He coordinates and, and manages basically our technical infrastructure. And if you need anything, you can just ask him if he has it. If he doesn't have it, he will help you find it or he will order it. Last time we wanted to ask if he had a water vaporizer and he was like, oh, I'm really interested in that. I will buy it. <laughs> so 
we didn't have to buy it ourselves, but he has just a huge room full of hardware that we can borrow and it's free to borrow it. The teachers there are very open, very down to earth and do generally love their uh, subject and are interested in what they teach and also in your well-being and how you progress. They're really patient, they care about the students. Not like just uh, if you want the past, I will give you a pass like this. They, they care about your, your learning. They want you to learn something from the, from the subject instead of just uh, get a pass and uh, go to the next module. I can tell you a personal story for introduction to physical systems. I emailed Eric Faber, the current professor. I emailed him saying I don't understand the assignment. I've been like falling behind and I'm failing at it right now. He doesn't even reply to the email. He finds me. He comes up to me and says, hey, I, I read your email. Come down, come, come sit with me, come to my office. Let's talk about it. During that whole conversation, I broke down because <laughs> I, I really just didn't understand the assignment. He calmed me down. He gave me a one-to-one -one lecture basically on IPS. And that was one of the sweetest thing ever. For example, uh, I was walking around in an installation and Kasia came up to me and she was like, oh hey, how are you doing? Um, and she said my name and I was like, oh yeah, of course, they just know my name. And it's not the first time and I know that they know my name, but I keep forgetting that they actually know my name. Sometimes I forget that these are our students and that, uh, you know, <laughs> that you should be serious with them. I mean, that, that happened multiple times when I just sat in the tutorial helping people. I think some students didn't realize that I was actually like the, <laughs> the lecturer and they were like, hey, you're, you're a TA, right? I'm like, sure, <laughs> what's up? How can I help? For me, these sort of very spontaneous meetups that we can have with students the fact that we can, you know, that, that it's easy to be in contact with them, to sort of see what they're doing, that they're sharing things with us as staff. Yeah, for me, that's, that's just so great. You know, the sense of humor that's there. That, again, you know, the, also the openness in how people approach you. I think the learning experience can create it's great. If you get stuck at any point, you always know that there's going to be someone that can help you get out of that problem. Others look upon them as sometimes a bit, a bit different, but it's, it's okay. I mean, they can take it and we know that it's not true. You know, it's not just, you know, <laughs> playing around, <laughs> fooling around. I really, really, really love Create from the bottom of my heart. And I'm so proud of what our students can do. I'm so proud what we as a community are able to sort of do, create, work on, make happen. And I know that actually very many people in this university are in fact jealous of what it is that we do. It's always nice to see that after one year and after two years, you see people making these incredible jumps. People that come in first year and they're saying, I'm not a programmer. Next year, they are teaching assistants and they help other uh, students in programming 101 get over that preconceived notion. And I think that's, that's a very cool atmosphere to be part of. We try to motivate them into projects that are meaningful, important, urgent for the world, for the environment, for the society. And I'm like, yes, you did it, you know? You outperformed yourself. You didn't expect that you would get here. It came from somewhere. And for me as a teacher, I'm always interested in finding that somewhere in a person where you don't know where you have stored or hidden capacities and then they come out. I would not have thought ever I could build something like this. So it's very fun at Create, so join Create. <laughs>